Welcome everyone. Uh, I am Brandon from the future and we're taking a look at what Brandon in the past was up to. So check it out. Uh, I went out painting with uh, another painter one weekend on a Saturday, I believe, Sunday or Saturday. Anyway, it was about a two hour drive up into the mountains uh, from Sacramento. So uh, I didn't really film much of my journey, really. I just filmed the painting experiences and what you're seeing right now kind of uh, I did have there are a few clips here and there but uh, mostly it's me painting and we got three paintings in on uh, this one day so I figured I'd share these with you give a little voiceover uh, for what happened this day and what what's going on right here so this was my this is my second watercolor painting of the year I'm really rusty but it's very nice scenery very epic we're in the mountains I'm painting some uh, Mountains way off in the distance here ha still have some snow on them in the middle of June. It's pretty amazing. And I'm painting some trees in the foreground, so check it out. Here's uh, using a smaller round brush, and now I'm painting in the trunk. Um, so yeah, like I said, you know, we just got out of here painting. Unfortunately, most of these paintings uh, didn't turn out very well. I mean, I think they came out pretty good for the amount of painting I've done this year in watercolor, which is very little so far. And I think they came out pretty well. I mean, I got some nice colors. It looks like what I was painting. Uh, looks like the scene and the area. Uh, the problem was the time of day and kind of the lighting. So our lighting scenario, you can see if you look at the ground, it's, it's very, it's almost overcast. It's, it has this very light haze of clouds in the sky. Um, so there was still some very faint light. Uh, you know, it's just kind of this weird light. Is it light outside? Is it overcast? You know, we didn't really know. It's kind of this bizarre lighting scenario. Uh, but we did what we could with it. You know, you just have to, sometimes you get out and the weather changes. So you have to just deal with it. And you see now you can see a shadow on my sketchbook there. So the sun's starting to come back, shadows on the ground. So it was kind of in and out all day, and the problem was we didn't leave early enough. We left at about 8.39, and we got up in the mountains about 11.30, and we painted from 11.30 to about 2 p.m., and it was just really flat light. You know, it's just noon. When you go and paint out, at, when you paint outside at noon, it's just uh, pretty boring for the most part. But uh, the problem was the guy I was painting with had to be back in town, you know, um, at a certain time in the evening, so we had to make sure we got there early and got out of the mountains. So that's the first painting done there. You can see him holding it up. You can just see the light. It's just, it's very weird light. Uh, but like I said, you know, I did what I could with it. And we're jumping in to the next location, which was about five minutes up the road. And the cool thing about this highway, this is off 80, Highway 88 in California, and it's just a beautiful, unbelievable highway the cool thing is there's so many little turnoffs uh, to turn out on onto off the road so we literally didn't even have to hike anywhere to see anything amazing we just pulled off the side of the road parked got out maybe walked like 20 feet or something and started painting just amazing scenery amazing mountains um, we're definitely going back again so stay tuned for a future video and I'm going to film more of that one uh, as well and we may eventually go back a third time. I'm not sure yet, but definitely a second time. So this time I'm painting a, a tree. This is a bristlecone pine tree. They only grow like way up, you know, 8,000 feet and above basically. And they're some of the oldest trees on planet Earth. A lot of them are about between 2,000, 4,000 years old. I don't know how old this one is. Could be couple hundred years or even over a thousand I don't really know but uh, it looked pretty cool you know it's kind of bending over one way uh, the problem with it was the lighting as we'll see here as this painting continues it was just completely in shadow and where we were at where we were painting you know there wasn't really we couldn't really go on the other side of it you know it was just even though it was amazing spots we were getting to you know there just wasn't a whole lot to paint and what we found out after we finished this day of painting, if we would have just driven about 10 more minutes up the road, there was these lakes and just epic, way more epic scenery. Uh, but we just didn't want to miss anything when we first got up there. 
so we pulled off every time we could and just painted what was there and uh but i'm happy with what we got it's always an alert it's always a learning experience you know getting outside painting it was super hot we both got sunburnt we forgot our sunscreen you know overall it was just it was just having fun getting outside and, and learning so learning about painting learning about nature and uh getting sunburnt You'd think that would only happen once, you know, you'd only have to get sunburned once to remember, hey, I'm going to pack some sunscreen, but, uh, nope. So I'm just painting some branches on this tree. So this sketchbook I got here, this is a five by seven sketchbook. And then I use artist tape to tape around the edges. It gives me a nice clean white border. I really like that look, uh, whenever I tape off the edges. And you can see that, that bit of water I just put down, how quickly it just dried. I had to actually work very quickly uh, during this day because it was so hot and I just, I haven't been used to painting when it's so hot out. And the painting, the paint was actually drying like within half a minute to a minute. And I was just like, whoa, I gotta work a little more quickly than normal. So that was something I'm getting used to. Just adding some more chroma there to the sky. And that one's pretty much done, so let's take a look at it. So there's the finished painting in light, and you, you'll see the lighting here. See how bad that lighting is. And here's a cool clip of me. Uh, this is the snow. We had to walk through some snow to get to that. <laughs> that scene with the tree. And there's me slipping in the snow. And now we're on to the third painting here. Third one and last one of the day. And this was one of the first lakes we got to and we only painted a little bit of the lake. Uh, but in the next, uh, the next weekend after this, when we went back up, which you guys will see in the future, uh, we ended up painting more of the lake, which was really nice. But for now, there's the lake at the bottom and there I'm taking some of the pigment off getting some reflections and then adding some dark area around the shoreline. Very little bit of sky in this painting. It's mostly all mountains and distance and trees. Not really my best work ever, but uh, you know, like I said, you know, this was just a day of learning, a day of experiences and just getting out, having fun, you know, going to somewhere completely new, never been to this place before, never been on this highway. So everything was new, really fun adventure. And now I'm carefully painting in some mountaintops there because there is still patches of snow up there and I have to leave the white of the paper for the snow. So with watercolor, you kind of got to plan ahead a little bit. You know, you have to kind of plan. And uh, this part here with the greens around these rocks and stuff, I didn't really know how to approach this. I should have just did a wash of the entire area and then painted the rocks darker on top of the green but you know I, I didn't really know what I was doing here it was kind of really hard to, to differentiate the values between the rocks showing and the greenery it was kind of the same value so yeah I struggle with this part of the painting for the most part but I think the rest of it came out I think in the end it came out all right and the rest of it came out okay just sometimes it's a struggle while you're uh, painting it, you know, the experience of painting it. And that's actually a little bit of snow there in the bottom right corner uh, on the lake. Just a little bit of snow there, which is pretty cool. Dark tree line down there, really small trees. This is way off in the distance. So this, this episode's a little bit different than uh, other episodes, but I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it either way. Putting in some foreground trees here. These trees were much closer to us, to myself. And I struggled a lot with this, and th this was a mistake that I made. I should have left uh, 
you know, kind of the white of the paper for these foreground trees. Because then when I went to paint on the foliage on top of all that background, the foliage came out a little bit darker than it should have, and I really struggled with it. it kind of overworked the foliage. It was hard for me to get a nice strong color that I wanted because there wasn't any transparency left. So you can see there I'm kind of just... See, I ended up putting a very strong like cadmium yellow down. I was like, oh no, that's not what it is. So, yeah, oh, overall not bad, but, it, you know, I just struggled with this one. Everything's very middle tone for the most part, it seems. And uh, there's the finished painting. And that's pretty much it for uh, this episode. So I thank you for joining me. And uh, be sure to check out other episodes on the screen right now. I'd appreciate it. And uh, stay tuned for the next episode. Take care of yourself. Keep on painting. Don't get discouraged. Peace, my friends.